क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 अंडर नॉर्मल एटमॉस्फेरिक प्रेशर एट अर्थ सरफेस वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स फॉर्म अ टेट्राहीड्रल नेटवर्क स्टेबलाइज्ड बाय हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स बिटवीन एडजेसेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स एक्सट्रीम हाई प्रेशर सच एज कैन बी फाउंड इन डीप ओशन वाटर्स डीस्टेबलाइजेस दीज बॉन्ड्स एंड कंप्रेसेस वाटर स्ट्रक्चर allowing water molecules within organisms to permeate proteins and impede crucial biological functions yet deep sea organisms known as pezophiles have adapted to extreme pressure studies have found a positive correlation between the depths that various pezophiles inhabit and concentrations of a compound called trimethylamine n oxide tmao in their muscle tissues which has led a team of researchers to hypothesize that tmao reduces water's compressibility which finding if true would most directly support the researchers hypothesis is it a water molecules are found to be impervious to tmao even when the water molecules tetrahedral configuration has been distorted by high pressure b examination of tmao's molecular structure shows that tmao molecules retain their shape even as pressure increases C a positive correlation is found between concentrations of TMAO and the rate at which water's molecular structure compresses as pressure increases D analysis of water's molecular structure under high pressure reveal that hydrogen bonds are more stable when TMAO is present than when it is not so we need something which will support the researchers hypothesis the TMAO reduces water's compressibility so which do you think is the answer so if you say d well done that is the right answer choice d is the best answer because it presents a finding that if true would support the researchers hypothesis that tmao reduces water's compressibility so this is what the researchers are hypothesizing uh, the text explains that at great depths in the ocean so what is the text describing about the deep sea ocean the text explains that at great depths in the ocean extreme pressure compresses the molecular structure of water by destabilizing the hydrogen bonds between adjacent molecules thereby allowing water to penetrate proteins and harm the associated organisms however the deep sea organisms called pezophiles have adapted to live at these depths and previous studies show a positive correlation between the depth at which a pezophile species lives and the species level of the compound tmao so this tmao is helping them to survive because this hypothesis links tmao levels with reduced compressibility of water's tetrahedral molecular structure a finding that tmao helps maintain the hydrogen bonds between water molecules under high pressure would strongly support that hypothesis so if this d becomes true it will support the researchers hypothesis a is incorrect although the researchers hypothesis suggests a relationship between tmao and water molecules a uh, tetrahedral molecular structure that relationship involves tmao helping maintain water's tetrahedral molecular structure under high pressure as presented in the text the hypothesis doesn't contend that water molecules are impervious to or incapable of being penetrated by tmao and b is incorrect because the text discusses how the molecular structure of water not tmao is compressed under extreme pressure and never addresses how tmao might be affected by such pressure and then choice c is incorrect because the researchers hypothesis holds that water under extreme pressure is more resistant not less to being compressed when tmao concentrations are higher moreover the positive correlation mentioned in the text is between tmao concentrations and the depths at which pezophiles live not between concentrations of tmao and the rate at which water molecular structure compresses as pressure increases So I hope that's clear.